what's up y'all here's another mod mower update yeah it's still a mess I'm actually uh, starting to work on the engines or on the engine you know alright here's the mod as she sits got her turned around the uh, front end's pretty well been prepped, ready for our new material, which is leaning up against the stock mower. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm ready to start reinforcing this front end to where it should be, where it won't bend again. But this video is going to be focused on the engine. Yeah. Awesome. Here's the engine that was on there, 20 horse Intec, Briggs V-Twin, ran about as good as it's going to get with a jump carburetor, yeah, there you go, you can really see, ears broke off, still got one intact, broke off, broke off, I'm wondering if my engine may have worked its way loose and caused it to do that, or if it's just the sheer weight of the engine versus the small foot pattern of the bolt pattern on it yeah don't know but I gotta figure out a way to keep it from doing that again because that's going to get very costly here's the parts motor it is a 23 horse give or take Briggs Intec V-Twin that I'm going to be using the oil sump off of oil pan, oil sump, whatever you want to call it I have noticed a difference between the two engines. Yes, the oil sump will bolt right over and transfer over. But the oil pump's different. Not a big deal because it is interchangeable from oil, you know, I'll just keep the oil pan for that engine with the oil pump, keep it with that, vice versa with that one. You can't change the pumps out between the two sumps, which isn't a big deal. You see this pump here, Here's it. It's a shallow vein system. The pump on this one is actually the better one with a much larger vein system. Yeah, it's not sitting all the way down in there right now. There it goes. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to sit. But it's much larger. You see how much thicker that is compared to the old one? Yeah, more oiling. So this is actually an upgrade. So thumbs up for that. But yeah. Let's see if I can get this sump off one handed. Probably not, but uh let me set this camera down for just one moment. While I get the sumps pulled off so you can see a little difference in the engines. Yeah. Alright. So this sump down right there. Pull this sump off. Set it down right beside so we can do kind of a comparison deal. Show you the differences in sumps. Like I said, they're the same boat pattern. They'll boat right up. The only difference is the oiling system. Here's the good motor. It's got this screen set up right there. On this one, which has the smaller oil pump, here's the new sump, which yes, I do have to clean it. No screen there. The screen's actually on the other side, and it's got one of these screens, which I will clean it or replace it before it goes back in. Which actually, on the, all the forms I've been on the racing forms, this is the better sump out of the two. This one's much better. So it's an upgrade. And yes, it will bolt right on. I've already test fitted it. So yeah. Also, the differences in the engines. I know this right off the bat. On the, the 23 horse, it's got this hollow cam. Yeah, it's a massive cam, but you know, it's got the hollow centers for lightweight. I kind of expected that. What I did not expect. Yeah, look at that cam. Yeah, solid cam, so it's going to stay. Less likely of it breaking. 
Also, he goes to the governor. Yeah, this video probably ain't gonna show it very well. This camera's garbage. The governors are a little different. Which, not like I really care because, you know, you can literally pull that governor right out once you pull a stupid little spring or a little clip. And I'm not around the governor anyway. Mine's kind of bypassed. It's still there, but yeah. But yeah. It's showing the differences in the cams. I didn't know that. I've never really cracked a V twin open. I've never really had the opportunity to have a V twin. But I've already priced the gasket for this one to put it back together, which is going to have to wait till I get paid. Because the, the gasket alone, just a stupid little gasket that goes around here, it's like $25, which is retarded. But everything about the V-Twin has been expensive. So, yeah, it's going to have to wait until I get the money for that. But I'm actually debating on putting a different engine on this. Instead of putting the V-Twin back on it, I've kind of gotten an idea about going over here and put one of these opposed twins on there and I got a perfectly good one sitting right here it's a 18 horse yeah that shroud goes to this engine out here oh focus you piece of junk yeah this camera is just getting on my nerves but yeah the reason why I'm thinking about putting one of these opposed twins on there and so uh, normally, you know, they would face that way going forwards. Take this engine, rotate it sideways, so then it will sit like that, and that will be going forwards. And building a head plate off the front and a head plate off the rear, this motor will never move. And if it blows up, it blows up. I don't care. These things are a dime a dozen, and they're cheap. Uh, supposedly this one ran, but not right. I don't know. I haven't even messed with it. I robbed parts off of it. But this engine does run. I've gotten it running. Sounded good for the couple seconds it ran. But that's the option I have. You know, building build a head plate, mounting it down real good. That'll work. It just won't sound as cool as my, my V-Twin. I've even thought about throwing the, uh, the Vanguard on it real quick. But I don't want to take a chance of screwing that motor up. Vanguards are a lot harder to come by than Intex for me. Yeah. But that's an option. I might take one of them. Actually, I don't think an opposed twin would fit on there, really. There's no space for an opposed twin. So never mind on that. Not the way I want to set it, anyway. Huh. Well, scratch that idea. We're going to go back to the V-Twin. And if we break another oil pan, we break another oil pan. So be it. I don't really care. But I'm thinking about using the exhaust, beefing up the exhaust headers to a thicker gauge pipe and using those to anchor the front part of the engine down so it doesn't, you know, rock. Because maybe that's why the, the bolt, the ears broke on the pan. But anything's better than nothing. But yeah. I just wanted to show you the differences in the oil pans. Cause I'm not really finding a whole lot on them, just a little bit on the the Hamo uh, website forum. But yeah, thought I'd share that with you. Yeah. Engine sit. Look at that sludge. Yummy. Take care of your motor. Nice and clean. Yeah, but that was the parts motor anyway, so it's been sitting for a while. Which I will actually rebuild that block later on in the future and build something cool out of that engine. That'd be my experimental toy. But until then, I'm going to try to piece this thing back together, get this thing back up and going. I am shooting for the 16th of July for Gibson County. I'm going to try to. No guarantees. We will see what happens. So until the next one. Later, y'all.